Well, a lot of people have asked me, Paul, what is the Akron Fossils and Science Center? What, what actually do you do there? And, and the answer to that question is that the, the Akron Fossils and Science Center is a science center that's devoted to teaching creation science. Um, in other words, we have chosen the creation science intelligent design model in our teaching, telling the story of origins from the creation science standpoint. The evolutionary model has a different approach, and we do compare the two of them, but our whole emphasis is that creation science is for real, and we have devoted our museum to try to, in, to, try to organize that in such a way that we tell that story. So we have been asked the question, well, what makes your museum unique? And how have you organized your museum in such a way that it's distinct from other places? What we've done is we've organized a museum in such a way that we actually look at the science that supports the creation model. Now we compare the two models, the evolutionary model and the creation model. But we want people to look at the science that supports the creation model in a no kidding way. In other words, we want it to be um, cutting edge in terms of what the science happens to say. So we've designed it in such a way that half of the museum devotes its time to looking at the science and asking the question, what does the evidence best point to, an evolutionary model or a creation model? The second part of the museum, and in fact in the first part of the museum, we don't even talk about deity, we only look at the science. <clears throat> the second half of the museum is organized in such a way that we tell the biblical story and we ask the question, does the biblical story match what we see on the scientific side? In addition to the, the museum itself, we've also developed a, uh, an outdoor adventure land that we call Jurassic Park. And the adventure land is really designed for people just to have a lot of fun. Uh, in the tour, we teach the kids how to make a paper airplane that'll fly for 200 feet, and we take them outside and they get to, they get to fly it. We shoot water balloons and dinosaurs. We have a 200-foot zip line. We have a 56-foot slide. We have a four-person helicopter swing. Lots of fun things for the kids to do so that not only will they have the opportunity to take a look at the real questions of you know, the two different models that we present, but also have an opportunity to go outside and just have a lot of fun. In addition to the museum and the outdoor adventure lane, we also have some very interesting programs that we offer. Uh, one of our favorite programs is Museum in a Backpack, where we actually come out and speak to your group and uh, share with you some of the messages that we uh, try to accomplish in the museum. That's been very popular because people can actually get a taste for the museum. We also have our summer camps program. Our summer camp is designed around a kind of a, a day camp and with uh, all kinds of fun things for the kids to do and, and discover and, and that kind of thing. We also have Super Science Saturday, which occurs uh, once a month where the kids come in and do an experiment. We have Science Adventure Club once a month with a, a little bit older kids do a little bit more in-depth work uh, in some of our science research projects. Uh, we also have a lecture series where we invite professionals in to speak uh, in their particular area of expertise. And more, what's very interesting, we're doing more and more of, is we're actually teaching science classes uh, at the museum. One of our staff persons, of course, is a science teacher. And in that process, we're, we're, we're able to offer people particularly homeschoolers, the, the chance to, uh, to cover science. In, in homeschooling, many times math and science are difficult, so we have the chance to plug a hole for them in that area with our staff science classes. And she's also responsible for our research project. We're doing a research science research project on the ditch, uh, the creek that runs along the property. The other program that we do have actively going on is the Boundary Waters Canoe Adventure. We actually take people up to the Minnesota Canadian Boundary Waters in the canoe area and uh, have an expedition up there. We do some water sampling and it's a very pristine wilderness. Um, and we do water sampling for the state of Minnesota. You can still drink out of the lakes up there. That's how pristine it is. And it's a really, really fun adventure for those who are willing to do so. The question is how can we be of service to you? How, how can we impact your particular group in a meaningful way? Um, we have done that in a variety of ways. I mentioned earlier that we have our museum in a backpack and that's an opportunity for us to come to your organization whether it happens to be an adult group, um, a kids group, uh, or even a uh, um, 
an organization that's trying to look at this whole issue of creation versus evolution, we can come out to your place and actually present, give you a taste if you will.